Hello everybody. It was reported the other day that the European Food Standards Authority has authorised for use throughout the European Union uh, mealworms. Uh, they can be used to make pasta or to bake with or apparently uh, covered in a nice chocolate uh, covering they make a crispy snack. I don't know if your stomach is churning a little bit like mine is. The very word puts me right off it. But that's what occurred to me as being interesting about this bit of news was my emotional reaction to it. It's just an ordinary word and probably they're very tasty, but it's the connotations and the emotions that that word produces in me. Words have a habit of, of doing that and they have all sorts of other functions which are more than just their immediate meaning. The um, Journal of Experimental Psychology thought it interesting, interesting enough to, to do a survey uh, of which were the funniest words. And they had a large sample of people with 5,000 words and asked them to pick out the funniest and they eventually narrowed it down to, to 10 among which were uh, giggly uh, guffaw, bubbly, and so on. Uh, the point they made was that it wasn't the meaning of these words that made people smile, it was the, the sound of it. The word uh, had much more to it than just its its meaning. And and that's, that's true too, I think, about words that come into the language, fresh ones. One that struck me recently was hangry, uh, obviously meaning... Um, angry because you're hungry and um, I, I think all of us who've got, had any uh, inkling of that kind of feeling could immediately identify with that word and and somehow the fact that that uh, that sort of awareness that you're that's why you're angry has now got a word validates it. it it links you with other people who've also had the same feeling and makes you feel um, better about yourself because you know you're not the only one so words have all sorts of different purposes and, and meanings and effects on people. And I thought today I would just celebrate words because they have been so important to us, haven't they, in this lockdown period and continue to be so. The words that we see uh, when we tune in uh, to television on films that we're watching or when we're listening to podcasts or um, w w when we're uh, tuning into online lectures or, or, or whatever, or, or um, words that we uh, hear from uh, phone calls that we make when we can't actually be physically with people. Uh, and more important still, the words that we hear from those who are in our bubble with whom we are spending a lot of time. And so it's uh, always uh, helpful if their words are encouraging and supportive and loving towards us. But they have been so important words and continue to be so while we can't actually be physically with each other. So let's, let's celebrate them today and uh, perhaps be aware that um, if words are that important, then we need to be careful about the ones we use, particularly with the ones that we're close to with the people that we're close to in the in the bubble that we're part of because if we use words lovingly and kindly and generously then that's one way of saying thank you for the wonder that is words <laughs>